So, uh, we're just about ready to go to the airport. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. So our first flight got delayed quite a bit. So now I'm gonna rush to reach my connecting flight to Japan or else uh, we're gonna have a lot of issues. and customs took way less time than I thought. It took way, I think about 30 minutes, but the thing is I picked up the wrong baggage. So now I'm here waiting for my baggage because I'm an idiot. And uh, I'm not even that mad because once again, customs took less than 30, about 30 minutes, but last time it took three hours. The last time I was here, no. Uh, but I'm just a bit frustrated with myself. I just took the first orange baggage I saw because it stood out like a sore thumb and then I thought it was mine because who, who would want to bring an orange baggage? Uh, apparently I'm not the So I just got to the hotel, and um, yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's at Tokyo Kanda, or uh, I pronounce that very poorly, Kanda. But it's a very very small room. But here's the thing, right? I don't really care because I don't really need that much space. I, I would have settled with a capsule hotel if it wasn't for the fact I use a lot of photography equipment and take up a lot of space. And I also, uh, you know, just kind of want the privacy. <laughs> Not knowing that there's no one next to me, though I, I say that, but there's my neighbors could probably hear me right now. <laughs> so I brought my GoPro, and I, I probably should set it up so that way I can do pop shots a lot easier. The issue is it's going to mess with my color grading because everything I'm doing right now is an S log three. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't need uh, proper editing when it comes to these type of things because this is just for fun, honestly. But I do want to practice a bit, so uh, that's all. I'll get the GoPro ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a good deal. So I just got to my hotel uh, after a long day <laughs> of like no sleep on the planes and whatnot. Uh, change, I had to change because I was sweating in all that freaking uh, over layers that I've been wearing. It's a very small room. It's in uh, Tokyo Kanda and uh, it's not bad. Uh, here's the thing, right? I'm not really into big spaces. <laughs> Because it's a waste of space. Why pay more when you can sell for less? Like I'm not, I, I'm not much of a buyer, and I, the only things I care are my photography gear and um, my laptop. I, I wouldn't sell with a capsule hotel only because of the gear I have. But other than that, this is totally fine, and it's actually right in front of the station, so it's easy access. And guess what's next door? Akiba. Guess where we're going now? 
Yeah, for the uh, 500th time ever since I've been in Japan uh, six months ago. Akiba. Let's freaking do this. So I, I would I honestly expected today to be like a repeat of last time. And so I didn't really have anything planned for today because I thought I was gonna be stuck in customs all day. And that's after considering the fact that I uh, took someone else's baggage and I had to wait for mine because uh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, don't be like me. Make sure you uh, take a look at the baggage and make sure that, uh, don't be overconfident that someone might have a brightly, like a very bright orange bag like you do. Uh, that's besides the point. So, um, as you've seen with my poorly coherent vlog, um, I got to my hotel room in Tokyo Kanda, and um, I went to Akiba after. Simple stuff. And the only reason I did that was because Akiba's nearby, and I, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm freaking tired. I didn't really get much sleep on the plane, though I don't really get much I didn't get much sleep the past week or two because of gigs. So uh, you can probably see the bags under my eyes. And uh, so I just wanted to keep it chill, right? Just keep it chill. Just enjoy what I get to see. Just live it out, right? Just live out Japan. Treat it like you're living in Japan instead of a tour, like as a tourist. So I did that. So I, I went to get dinner, as you see. And uh, because I knew the language a bit, I was able to go to some places I never really knew before because they either didn't have English menus or they, they weren't very um, open about English visitors, like, unless you were able to read their, uh, signs, and dang, being able to read, the, uh, being able to read the language a bit, or just learn the language a bit, just goes a long way. I'm not, I'm not good at it at all. I'd say I'm an N5 level, but, like, dang, dude, if I, if I wanted to give you a tip right now for anyone who wants to go to Japan in the future, go learn the language a bit, even just a tiny bit, it goes a long way. And, uh, from what I've seen, uh, I wish I could have vlogged it, but I'm very, obviously, um, how do I say this? It's not really strict, but I'd say I'm very uh, cautious of others when it comes to privacy. And so I didn't want to vlog people's interactions with me. But uh, if, if I were to sum it up, it's that, that people really appreciate when you try to learn their language. It, it just goes a long way. And uh, I met some pretty cool people that way, honestly. The day couldn't have gone better. Um, I didn't want to make this into like a headshot talking vlog. <laughs> I guess to be fair, the whole vlog part is more me just trying to take videos of my second trip to Japan to remember it by, not really a serious vlog. No one's really gonna listen to me talk for hours, right? I, I hope not, at least. So uh, it's it, this is more like a mix of a videography trying to be cinematic, uh, me talking to the camera, and also me talking to the camera Stand alone, just straight up to you guys with no script, no other thing, just everything coming out of my mind. 
So, uh, I guess I thought I'd talk about some of the weird things. I guess not really weird things, but things that were kind of exclusive to this trip so far. So, I went back to Akiba. So, if you didn't know, I really like Akiba. <laughs> Akiba was probably one of my most visited places last time, mostly because I stayed around the area. Man, I'm staying around the area again. I'm one station away from the uh, Yamano line. Uh, so when I went back to Akiba, I, I noticed right away. Uh, so you know maid cafes, right? They're, they're very, very apparent in Akiba. And they are a lot more aggressive to me now. Not really aggressive, but like aggressive marketing. They're trying to get me to do their thing. But I mostly think it's because... Um, October, or I guess the time where I'm, where I arrived, it's not very, uh, tourist heavy compared to back then. I went during cherry blossom season last time, so there was a ton of people around. So they had a lot of other people to bother except me. But now, uh, hell, just on my way back to the train station, I walked down the alley. I, I, I think it's called the junk alley because that's where a lot of the used stores, the used par stores were. And, um... There was like this lineup of May Cafe girls like on each side and I was like one of like three people walking down that way and dude I got anxious, but that was the fastest way back to the train station. I wasn't gonna turn around because it looked awkward So I walked through and uh, because I didn't understand the language a bit uh, it, it got really weird when they started calling out to me Yeah, and I, I, I'm 90% sure most of those people knew I don't speak Japanese or I hope not. I had some people mix me up for being Japanese before, which I never really understood. But that's besides the point. Um, I should probably finish this, but uh, I, I, I just wanted to express my thoughts out on uh, my first day. And I think I'm going to keep doing this uh, for the next three weeks that I'm here. Yeah, I'm here for three weeks. And um, I, I guess one of the bigger things that's happening is that I... I met some people, so like I told you, I'm learning Japanese, right? I use a language learning app to, uh, dude, I, I can't think right now, it's, <laughs> I'm tired, but I use it to supplement my learning. It's an app called like Hello Talk, so I get to meet a lot of Japanese people who want to speak English. So it goes both ways, I'm an English speaker who wants to learn Japanese, and vice versa. So you get to interact with these people, and uh, after I told everyone I was coming to Japan, like today, I started getting a lot of hookups. Like, I think the next one is actually in Shibuya on Saturday. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with it. But if you know me in real life, you'll know that I'm not very, like, I'm, I'm kind of shy. <laughs> Social, uh, socially anxious, maybe. And um, I, I didn't really know what to respond to. Like, sure, I'm fine with hanging out, but I'm, I don't want to make myself awkward <laughs> so she has like this whole it's not really itinerary but she has plans for us to do that day which is like go shopping because like halloween is two three days away after saturday and uh we're gonna go to bars i'm not much of a drinker <laughs> i'm not much of a drinker but i will drink on social occasions but uh, don't expect me to last very long i don't have a tolerance and uh, yeah it's just weird like People go so far for someone as boring as me, and I'm like, dang, what are you trying to accomplish out of this? I, I, I always feel like there's some ulterior motive that I don't know about, and uh, yeah, I guess that's that. But I am hyped for what's to come, because not only am I able to explore more places that I could before because of language barriers and other things, uh, I get to interact with the culture more as a result, too. So like last time I had pretty much zero interaction with other people that wasn't the maid cafe I got dragged into and um whatchamacallit the 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 the, uh, the last day where I spent like eight hours at the bar aside from that no social interaction and just today I had more social interaction than I had the entirety of last trip so that's fun I wish I could have vlogged it for all you guys but privacy let's keep it that way yeah cool thanks and uh, I guess that's that. Thank you for watching this unnecessarily long uh, vlog. But uh, yeah, that's that.